Hey y'all, I'm Corey Ashton with the events calendar. I'm about to show you how easy it is to get started with virtual events. Be sure that you're running either our free version of the events calendar or events calendar pro. Let's go get started. In order to create a virtual event, you'll start the same way you do when you create any other event with the events calendar. From your dashboard, you'll go to events and add new. The page will look exactly as it does with your other events. So fill in the information that you need, like event title, description, dates, and time. Keep scrolling down the editor screen and you'll find a section called virtual event. Click on configure virtual event. So if you want to embed the content on your actual event page, you'll want to use one of our WordPress supported sources. Currently that's YouTube, Facebook, and Vimeo, and we have a whole list of others. I'll put the link to that in the description box below. Or you have the option of creating a Zoom video conferencing link. With this, you can actually link over to the live stream event as long as you have your Zoom account connected to the events calendar. I have an additional video that'll show you how to do that step by step, and I'll put that in the description box below. If you add a video source, you'll see an option to display the embedded video, or use a link button, or both. When you choose the linked button, you also have an option to change what the button actually says on the label. So you could say join now or watch live. The default label is simply watch. Moving down here, you have options on how you will show the content. You can either show the video source or the Zoom link right away or hide them until the start of the event. If you choose the once the event starts option, the video or the Zoom link will display 15 minutes before the event starts, so that'll give your attendees a chance to join on time. If you're using our free ticket plugins to sell tickets or create RSVPs for your event, then you'll check the include link in RSVP emails. This option will actually send a link for your virtual event in the ticket emails that the attendee receives after registering for the event. The email that your users receive will look something like this. And finally, the virtual event label. The options here allow you to display the label on your event and on your calendar views. This will allow your visitors to easily see that this is a virtual event. I hope that was exciting for you. You have set up virtual events. Now, if you really wanna integrate with Zoom, you can do that with your free account or your premium account. I have a whole separate video for that process. I'll put the link to that in the description box below. If you have further questions, please jump over to our website, theeventscalendar.com, and we have an entire knowledge base there for you where you can find great articles and support. Hope you're having a great one. See you all next time. Bye, everyone.